Can I help you? Hey, Doc. So, am I on your trust list or no? Deke, you ever ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman, to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt, oh, Maria, right? Oh, Jesus. This asshole, Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and, uh... I'll handle it. I thought you might. You here for your bike? Hey, what's going on? I'm just gonna grab some shot. How's it going? Hey, just taking a look. Wait a sec. I'll open it. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This earth is a gift for us all, to use as we see fit, to provide for ourselves and our families. I'm not saying this. It's the Lord that gave us dominion over it. But that wasn't enough for some men. They wanted more. When our fuel got low, they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So, we wanted to build dams for electricity, but their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. But now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middleman. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have come down. Shit, someone needs help. Out here, there ain't nothing but murderers and drifters and raiders. Help! Help! I need help! Over here! I'm here! Help me! Yeah. Help! Please! I got this. Hang on. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp in Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. 
it's safe there. Thank you so much. I thought I was gonna die in there. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Keep your head down and run. to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day, some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer's sweet face around these last do. few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he... Okay. Hey, Tuck, I'm here, and yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew. Hey, Tuck, I'm here, and yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. You said his face was scarred, so, uh, I mean, more, please? What else can you tell me? He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn leprechaun. You bring me his tire iron, Deacon St. John. I want it covered in what's left of the son of a bitch's face. I hear you. Uh, St. John out.
Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer's sweet face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Copeland. Okay. Hey, Tuck, I'm here, and yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. You see, his face was scarred, so, uh, I mean, more, please? What else can you tell me? There's a green coat. Looks like a gun. You bring me his tire iron, Deacon St. John. And I want to cover what's left of the son of a bitch's face. Now you hear you. Uh, St. John out. Got old iron tooth on you, yeah?
drifting. We don't want no trouble. Oh, how's it going? Looks like you've got a few ears here. Yeah. Here for your bike? Oh, I got some gas here. Check back. Later. What do you want? You find that son of a bitch? Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ah, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits. Get back to work. Hey, back to work. How's it going? Okay. What do you need? You need something? <laughs> That's a good one. What else can I do for you? Find me if you need anything else. See you around. You here for your bike? Uh, just having a look. 